Okay, it's been a little over two weeks. I'm giving a keto diet update. So far, I actually really like it. My energy levels have been phenomenal, and that's the number one goal that I wanted starting this to see if I could have more sustained energy. Because a lot of the research I've done, it shows that your body, when it uses fat for fuel, it's more sustained. It doesn't have uh, insulin spikes, which are ups and downs from eating carbohydrates. So, so far, I'm loving the energy. I actually haven't even taken a nap since I started, besides my low blood sugar incident. But I'm not too worried about that. And I wouldn't really have anybody else worry about that. The only advice is don't do anything extremely strenuous during your first two weeks of keto. Because it takes about two weeks for your body to fully adapt to get into keto. So right now, I'm about two weeks. So I feel like my body has fully adapted, which has um, been good. So I've been really consistent the whole time. I've been tracking my macros. I've... The first week was learning a lot about what I could eat, and I probably went to the grocery store, you know, three or four times between Paige and I in the first week, getting all the stuff that we needed, that we didn't have, that we wanted to really spice up our diet. Uh, fortunately for me, I can eat pretty bland, um, the same thing every day, which I usually do. Um, but with this keto diet, I've actually mixed it up a lot more, so my diet and nutrition has been a lot more um, colorful, which has been nice. A lot of people ask me if I'm you know, craving carbohydrates or missing it or anything. I'm really not. I'm eating a lot of good foods. I make a keto shake that's delicious. Um, it's chocolate almond butter. It's it's phenomenal. So it cures any sweet tooth I have. And honestly, with like rice and other carbohydrates, I'm so burnt out on rice over the last few years of eating it every day because it's simple, cheap, and easy that I that's the last thing I want to eat is a cup or two of dry rice that I cooked three days ago that's been in my fridge. So honestly, I'm really enjoying not having to eat those carbs and I'm still getting all my calories from elsewhere. I've been maintaining at 3,000 calories a day, which is pretty much my body maintenance. Um, I haven't lost any weight. So I started about 180, 179. I'm still, I woke up at 180 today. So I've stayed the exact same weight, which is good for me because I'm trying not to lose weight. If I wanted to lose weight, I would take my calories down a little bit. So I was in what's called a caloric deficit, which means I'm burning more calories than I'm taking in in a day. I'll make a video that's more specific on that. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me asking me how I'm thinking it, how I'm liking it, um, how I'm liking it, what I'm thinking of it, and recommendations. So I've been trying to reach back to everybody and give advice that I can. The number one thing I can recommend to you is start researching. I mean, I'll answer any question you have or explain stuff, but if you're interested in the keto diet, I'll help you and show you everything that I'm doing. But the basics, there's a ton of YouTube videos and other resources online that will teach you all about it and in-depth more science ways to it. You do have to filter through some BS, um, which is easier for me because it's something I do for a living, so I understand when something isn't correct science-wise or not. But there's people like a guy named Jason Whitrock that has an awesome YouTube channel. I also follow another guy called Zach Griffith that's a hunter guy. He's doing it. He's kind of my same style of old-school bodybuilder ways, trying something new. But find other people, hopefully, I find motivation from them to keep going and learn new things, try new things. Hopefully I can do that for you guys. Um, I just want to give an update that I feel good, energy's good. I had a little situation with the low blood sugar. Um, don't worry about that. That's not really relevant to anybody. Just don't push yourself. Don't start keto and then a week later go try to run a marathon. Because that's kind of the issue that I ran into doing that. So... I'll get more consistent with these videos and start uploading stuff. I want to give the two weeks to really refine things out. I don't want to be giving false information, especially when I had that kind of an issue. I research it. It's not a huge deal um, for anybody else that's going to start something like this. So if you have any questions, um, just reach out to me. I'll get back to everybody that writes. Thanks, guys.